What do these rocks have in common? Halite, gypsum, and hydrite and limestone. They are all chemical sedimentary rocks. These rocks typically form from either evaporation or precipitation of mineral rich waters. Let's take a look at two demonstrations that will help you understand how chemical sedimentary rocks form. Up first is evaporation. And here's what I did. I first dissolved a cup or so of Epsom salt into water. So you can see me pouring the water into this. Next, I poured this, I stirred it up and poured it into a pan and put it on high. This way you can begin to see the water evaporates and I have it on uh, fast time lapse. And as you can see, as it evaporates, you can see that the water, the minerals dissolved in the water becomes a solid. And here's what it looked like at the end. Okay, so kind of cool looking rocks. So that's evaporation. Next, I had precipitation, and it's the process of transforming a dissolved substance into an insoluble solid from a supersaturated solution. And for this supersaturated solution, you can see I used borax, borax, and then I went ahead and poured it and dissolved it. Okay, then I took this supersaturated uh, liquid with borax in it and I poured it into a nice cup. And then what I did was I used some pipe cleaners and made a little sculpture and placed it in there. And now you can see the time lapse. And here's what happened as the minerals precipitate, you can see they begin to form a crystal. So there we go. And now when I pull it out, that's what the crystal looks like. Okay. So you can see how a rock would form, a chemical sedimentary rock would form from precipitation. Okay. So in summary, chemical sedimentary rocks are formed by either evaporation of mineral rich, rich water or precipitation of mineral rich water. Thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.